हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट वायरस रेजिस्टेंस प्लांट दैट व्हाट आर वायरस रेजिस्टेंस प्लांट्स एंड हाउ यू कैन डेवलप द वायरस रेजिस्टेंस प्लांट थ्रू ट्रांसजिनेसिस सो विदाउट एनी डिले लेट स्टार्ट द वीडियो सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट आर वायरस रेजिस्टेंस प्लांट सो एज द नेम इंडिकेटिंग वायरस रेजिस्टेंस प्लांट्स आर दोज प्लांट्स विच आर रेजिस्टेंस अगेंस्ट वायरसिस मीन्स वायरस इज नॉट एबल टू कोज द डिजीज इन दीज प्लांट्स और वायरस इज नॉट एबल टू अटैक दीज plants so generally we make virus resistance plant by transferring some foreign genes to the plants these genes they encode some specific for proteins which ultimately give a property to the plant that it will not be affected by the virus and the process by which we transfer these genes to the plant that is known as transgenesis and the plant formed after the transgenesis these are known as transgenic plant so how the transgenic plants generated if you want to know complete about the transgenic plants so you can see my other video the link will be in the description now how you can develop the virus resistance plant so in order to develop the virus resistance plant we generally uh, you can say we generally introduce the viral protein genes in the plant cells means we just take the genes from that specific virus and transfer this gene to the plant cell and now this gene will make protein that will give plant cell a protection against that specific virus so in order to keep this in mind we can transfer the following genes in order to generate the virus resistance plant so these can be the virus code protein genes movement protein genes transmission protein genes satellite rna anti sense rna genes ribozymes and the genes that will make the antibody in the plant cells now let discuss all these genes or you can say all these mechanism of making the transgenic plant that is virus resistance in detail so first virus code protein gene so this is that gene which encode the protein which ultimately makes the virus coat or capsid so as you know the virus capsid is a protein shell of virus that encloses its genetic material so what we did the basic principle is that this coat protein it will give the cross protection against the wild virus means the phenomena is based on the cross protection according to which when a plant is infected by a mild virus a weak virus so it will not produce any symptom but protect against the super infection caused by the severe virus so this is the basic principle that if the coat protein from the weak virus is already present inside the plant so in future if the you can say severe virus will come so it will not able to cause the disease because the already present coat protein will give protection against that specific virus so example of the viruses here include are like alpha alpha mosaic virus cucumber mosaic virus potato virus x and so on so from the these viruses we can isolate the virus coat protein and introduce into our plant cells second type of gene that we can transfer to plants that are the movement protein genes so first of all what is this movement protein so as the virus infect the plant so it will move from one cell to another cell so it you can say it spread itself and it move through the intracellular junction that is plasmodesmata and these movement proteins are those protein which help the virus to move from one cell to another cell so these movement protein they participate in the movement of virus from cell to cell and the example of these movement protein they include like 30 kilo dalton movement protein of tmv tobacco mosaic virus and 32 kilo dalton movement protein of the bmv that is brom mosaic virus so these are the example of these movement proteins and if we transfer the genes for these movement protein so we can make the plant resistance against virus and we can you can say transfer the mutated movement protein so when we transfer the genes for mutated movement protein to the plant so it will give protection against the virus like for example as the movement protein 
transferred to the wild type TMV coded protein so it reduce the spread of this TMV virus. Next that is transmission protein genes. So transmission means there is a very good coordination and interaction between the plant virus and the insect vector for the spread of virus from one plant to another plant and certain viral and coded transmission proteins they help in the movement of virus from one plant to another plant. So if we introduce the mutated transmission protein so it is possible to block the spread of viruses. So in this strategy we just introduce the gene for the mutated transmission protein so that it will block the spread of virus and as the spread of virus is prevented so we can say that we have just make the other plant virus resistant because now virus will not move from one plant to another plant. So for this we can use a defective virus transmission protein as I told. Next satellite RNA genes. Some viruses they also contain a very small RNA molecule that is known as satellite RNA or sometimes called as sRNA. So this satellite RNA it require a helper virus for its replication and this sRNA it do not form the code protein it is encapsulated in the code protein of helper virus means this S virus this sRNA it will not make code protein it will encapsulate it in the code protein of helper virus. So in the presence of satellite RNA it has been seen that the severity of viral disease is decreased due to the interference with the viral replication and ultimately it reduce the effect of virus. So what we can do we can transfer the genes of this satellite RNA and which will ultimately reduce the virus replication like for example when the CMV virus that cucumber mosaic virus it infect the pepper plant these symptoms they were minimized with higher plant yield when the CMV was co-inoculated with the satellite RNA means when the CMV was introduced with the satellite RNA so the symptoms was very much minimized which indicate that this satellite RNA also provide the protection against virus by slowing down the or by interfering with the viral replication. Next antisense RNA gene. So this antisense RNA gene is that gene which will code for a particular RNA that is antisense RNA and that RNA interfere with the virus replication and will not allow the viral to replicate. So in order to make virus resistance plant so what we do we just take the antisense RNA gene and introduce into the plant cell. In the plant cell this antisense RNA gene will code for the messenger RNA and that is complementary to the normal messenger RNA synthesized by the normal virus gene. So now there will be the two RNAs one is the antisense RNA and other the RNA that will be made by the virus to cause the disease. So as the messenger RNA formed by the virus so this antisense RNA because it is complementary to viral RNA so this, this antisense RNA will bind with the messenger RNA of virus and ultimately form the RNA RNA hybrid which ultimately now block the translation of the messenger RNA of virus. So as the translation is blocked so there will be no formation of protein as you can say there will be no growth of virus or no disease symptoms will be there. So by using this antisense RNA gene we can also develop the virus resistance plant. So simple technique is this we just introduce the viral antisense genes into plants that make the complementary RNAs to the viral sequence and these complementary RNA they bind to the messenger RNA of the virus and ultimately block their translation. Now next ribozymes. So what are ribozymes? So here ribozymes are those small RNA molecules that can act like enzymes. So they can cleave the RNA. So ribozymes are small RNA molecules that can ultimately cleave the RNA. So in order to cleave the RNA of virus, we can introduce certain genes of these ribozymes to the plant 
so that when the virus enter inside the plant so these ribozymes they will you can say they will cleave the rna of the target virus and if the rna will be degraded so there will be no symptoms so for that we can use this ribozyme gene like here in this diagram you can see there are two types of rna are there like this first one is the target virus rna while this one is the ribozyme so as we add the ribozyme so it will cleave the virus rna into small fragments and will not allow the virus to replicate so by this mechanism we can use a ribozyme gene to make the ribozymes that will cleave the messenger this uh, you can say messenger rna of or the rna genome of the viruses and protect our plant from virus diseases now the next approach is the plant body mediated resistance so here if we can produce the antibody inside the plant against that particular virus so definitely these antibodies will kill that virus so this is the basic principle of plant body that we introduce the genes for the antibodies in the plant cells and now the plant cell will express the antibodies that will kill the virus so generally we Uh, you can say we introduce the genes for the igg fab 2 fragment or a single chain fv antibody that provide the protection against the viral or other diseases so this is all about the virus resistance plant that how you can develop the virus resistance plant the basic principle is that we just transfer the certain genes that may either be the genes from the virus or they may either be the genes for some other molecule that give plant some specific mechanism to protect or to you can say nullify the effect of viruses so this is all about the virus resistance plant guys so that's all for today see you in the next video thank you very much